Hey, what's up, boat friends? We got our friend, old school Laker, Philip R. Clark, coming inbound to Duluth, Minnesota. Absolutely beautiful day. 60 degrees, 3.30 p.m. Central Time. You can see area lift bridge up, 135 feet. I'm going to show you around over here what's going on on Park Point. Plenty of people out on the beach. Saw a person that was on a paddle board, made it through the canal and is now moving along the Park Point side over there. Must be pretty fun out there. We also have a few vessels that are out sitting at anchor. You got three of them. The one on the left, that's a CSL vessel. The one in the middle, that's Atlantic Huron. And another CSL vessel on the right side. They're sitting at anchor waiting to go into Superior. little bit of haze in the air, a lot of people out on the North Pier. Give you a glimpse of that. A little quieter over on the South Pier side. You can see that flag. 13 mile per hour wind gusts out of the north. I think you can pick up on that haze a little more. Take a look at that hillside. I'm going to get the marine traffic here in one moment. Show you a little more about what's happening here in Duluth, in particular, the Park Point side. You got some people right next to that wall, a little bit of swimming going on, playing around. And that beach goes all the way down. Well, Let's get ready for our friend, Philip R. Clark, coming inbound with dolomite. I'll get into what that is here in a moment, if you're unfamiliar with that. I had to put my phone into the shade so you can see the screen a little better, but here you go. Here's the Clark, doing eight knots, coming inbound. It's going to be going through the aerial lift bridge, harbor basin. And it's going to be going under the Blotnik Bridge, going over to Hallett 5 Dock. Here's some details about the vessel that we're going to watch here in a moment so we can get acquainted. Philip R. Clark, 767 feet in length. Built in 1952 at the American Shipbuilding Company, based out of Ohio. As I mentioned, owned and operated by Great Lakes Fleet. They're out of Duluth, Minnesota. 25,000 ton capacity. 1974, lengthened 120 feet. 1982, converted to a self-unloader. Seven holds, 28 hatches, one propeller, one rudder. And as you can see, it has that awesome Ford pilot house. And the Clark is going to be unloading Dolomite, as I mentioned. Picked up the load in Michigan. A little more about Dolomite. It's an ingredient in the production of glass, bricks, and ceramics. So pretty interesting load. Take a look at that horn there right above the pilot house. That's a steering pole that's pointing out on the front of the bow. Have the door open down below let's see if we get the pick up on anything within saw a person standing on that other side but take a look at this beautiful vessel american flag blowing on the stern 
going through the aerial lift bridge. And now you can really see that haze in there from the Canadian wildfires that have made it down here into Minnesota. So there you go, boat friends. Philip R. Clark. Another chapter in the book for us. Another Laker. Glad the captain and the crew made it safe. I got a lot of work ahead. Well, boat friends, I'll be out here with the next vessel. If you're interested in additional videos, here's a few to choose from.